okay, this because of the lack of driving structure here, and today uh, we are going to talk about strains in Bible. Um, if you're new to the channel, can be do subscribe to be receiving updates of the same, and uh, let's dive right away into learning more about strings. Um, today we are going to talk about strings, what really strings are, what kind of operations Python can perform with strings, and um, we are also going to look at a couple of methods in, in, in strings. And so right away I'll start off my IDE, and my IDE is a Visual Studio now. Um, from the last point where we left, I'll, let me create a new a new a new file and i'll call it and i'll call it strings strings the okay okay so um previously we defined strings as um a set of characters in, in python okay we defined strings as um a set of characters and and we said um uh, strings in python are, de are denoted by single quotes and now like you could say my name Raven, okay or or rather we could also use double quotes to denote strings okay and uh um, you could say somebody like tom oh i'm sorry nouns are proper names of proper nouns so should be given in, in capital letters okay so um you have denoting strings in either single quotes or, or double quotes and uh, that's how we denote strings in in in, in python okay and uh and and now to the next thing i want to learn like when you have um um two kinds of strings like in this case we have we have tom we we have we have tom and and we have and we have grieving so Two separate strings are, are known as string literals. Okay, now string literals. Uh, you can have some something like like dog. You can have a name like dog. Okay. You can also have a name like like cat. Okay. So when you have dog here. And we have cat here those are two separate strings and in python we we refer to those as string literals and one thing with, with string literals is that two strings that are close to each other are automatically concatenated concatenation we said previously is um the addition or the combination of two strings like we're bringing two strings together so when you have two string literals in, in this written in this manner it's python automatically concatenates the two and uh, when you when you run like that bit of code you can see our output we have dog cat and, and the output is dog cat and initially i told you when you're concatenating two strings and you wish to have a space between the two of them just inside a space before uh the last uh quotation mark in, in the last uh string so you do something like like that okay so that we you you get this kind of white space there and this and then you'll be able to have dog space cat okay so um when i print that again you see now the difference uh, the first one has got no space it, it concatenates and just brings the two strings together without any space and, and we have dog cat now it has got it has separated the, the string literals so that we have an output of dog space and then we have cat so <coughs> that's that's the much um uh, basic introduction in, into strings um into strings with uh with python and uh <coughs> what else are we able to do with uh, with strings now strings can be indexed to mean strings can be sub subscripted okay <laughs> forgetting that word right strings can be subscripted and um 
maybe before I talk about that, just to add on, on this uh, is is that you cannot really, you can never really um, have have um, a variable name and a string concatenation automatically. It's only two string literals that can concatenate. So, for example, you cannot say that because we have um, the variable name as as um, as driven. I love to use my name and. Uh, and and then and then because you have another string, another string like uh, like let's say Sharon, okay. So because you have a, a variable as Grivy and a string Sharon, you cannot expect to have name, okay. You can never expect to have name and. Uh, and 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 Sharon automatically concatenating, okay? <laughs> it it can never happen. Actually, it returns an error. So, so when I when I run that, when I run that bit of code, okay, when I run that bit of code, um, I get an error. Okay, you see, it says like um, um in line one, okay, syntax error, in, invalid syntax, okay, Sharon. So you definitely cannot have um, um, a, a variable concatenating a string name. Okay, so I'll, I'll just right away. Um, okay, I'll leave that an, as an example. But then now, <clears throat> this is all you need to know after that point about strings and string literals. So, um, um, <laughs> on to the next point I was talking about. That is indexing of strings. So we have said that indexing is subscripting strings, and then. It's like trying to count strings and saying uh, we at at position one we have this string. Okay, it's like trying to get a substring in a string. So, um, for example, when you have when you have um, let's say a variable, we have a variable, a string variable, and it's uh, uh, goodbye. And and it's it's goodbye wall, okay. I know most of you are used to uh, hello world, but let's say word here in this case is goodbye hello world, okay. And we we wanted to index this um, kind of string. Now we have said indexing is like getting a, a substring of a string. So you can have like in in word. Um, to get index use square brackets okay so in what at position at position zero okay um what do we have where you can see let me say print word okay print word at position zero okay so that we can clearly see that and when i run that bit of code you have word at index zero meaning at position zero we have letter g letter g as word at position zero and in python numbering begins from zero so we have like g is zero o is one another o is two d okay like that that's that's how counting counting in python begins from zero so that's why when you um try to print uh um the string at index zero it returns the value the value g that we have on uh, the terminal section below here and uh and and and, and when you say like uh, maybe print word at at position five okay at index five print word at index five and when you run that um at position five we have the letter the letter so that's that is what we have as our output at position y but um strings in python can also be um, negatively indexed that is negative indexing so it is like counting the reverse way so if we have zero one two three like that beginning from left to right so reverse way of counting that would be from right to left so printing the in, in that manner, we don't have negative zero, of course, so we can only count from negative 
one okay so if you say um, print print uh, if you say print word of index negative one so when you say print of index negative one it should be able to return the value the value the exclamation mark yes it should be able to return the exclamation mark. and that is what we have at negative one when we count in the reverse way we have uh the exclamation mark coming in as uh, uh, the, the negative index the first negative index and you this value could vary like um you can have uh, um say negative six okay if we print again negative six um the output that we have is w okay uh, negative six is w so we have negative one negative two and b negative three and l so negative indexing in python begins from right to left but positive indexing or just normal indexing python will assume you counting from position zero and that is moving from left to right and uh, that's all about indexing strings for now another thing to note um is you have um you have you can have you you can actually have strings um, um that are sliced okay well what did i say previously i said indexing gives you a sub string no indexing should be able to give you a single letter in a string okay a single letter in a string or a ring but it is actually um slicing of the string that gives you a substring and we'll be talking more about uh slicing in the next video but for now i just want to give um, um a short example of, of of what slicing is so um given this previous example we could say um for slicing we could uh maybe say print okay print uh Print from position one to position uh, seven. Okay, so what this actually means is like print beginning at the string on index one, the, the letter on at index one, and end with the string at and excluding index seven. So when you say print, uh, oh sorry about that. Print, uh, print word it should have been anyway. print word uh, from position one to seven. It means like uh, <coughs> beginning one up to but excluding seven. Okay, so when you when you run that piece of code, when you run that piece of code. Uh, this is what you have as the output from position one up to seven. So this G is position zero. So we have zero at position one, two, three, four, five, six. So it excludes position seven, which is W in this case, and ends at E. And that is why we have the output in our terminal here is goodbye. Okay, goodbye. So I'd be able to describe more about uh, slicing, striding, and strings in, 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 in the next, in the next, in the next week. So that's it for now, guys. See you on the other side. Please subscribe to me.